Good morning, Southwest Spurs. It's going to be a chilly day outside today, so it's a perfect day to get cozy and read something awesome. Grayson and I are all set up for our readathon. We have our pajamas, slippers, and our shoes to change into for PE. We've got our Christmas tree set up, snacks to share with our class, and lots of books to read. But before you get rolling on your readathon, Zavani and I have an awesome holiday poem to share with you today. And the poem is full of all the Southwest Elementary news we need to share with you. Let's get started. Twas the week before Christmas and all through Southwest. The students were working and doing their best. Their backpacks were hung in their classrooms with care while they worked on math problems and reading in pairs. Their books were all open and their eyes on their teachers as they read and made notes on important text features. They knew their AR goal would be hard to meet, so they read and they tested. These spurs can't be beat. Spurs, you've done an awesome job on AR reading and testing this month. As a school, we've earned 3,052 points, and our average is 81%. Here are some of the top readers in each grade level. These kids that are at the lead of our race to earning an AR t-shirt for being top in their grade for the second nine weeks. Keep reading and testing. We still have until January before the final winners for the nine weeks are announced by Mrs. Beardsley. The students were quizzing on AR books they read, while visions of the readathon danced in their heads. The kids wore pajamas and slippers to school for a great day of reading that really was cool. Today's the start of our holiday dress-up fun with Pajama Day and the Readathon. Tomorrow continues with Holiday Helpers Dress-Up Day. Max has more information on that. Howdy, Southwest Bros. My name is Maxwell. I'm here to remind you about Holiday Helpers Day. Don't forget, you can wear your festive socks, hats, or aprons, or dress for success as a community helper that you admire, such as a policeman, a fireman, a mailman, or a nurse. This is all on Thursday, December 20th, 2018. We have lots of great community helpers that we would like to dress up as. This is Maya reporting from the SWTV studio. I'm here at the 2018 Christmas Parade in Lakeland, Florida. Sheriff Grady Judd and his deputies, police officers, firefighters, the Red Cross, the Salvation Army, and lots more. As always, our Lakeland Christmas Parade ended with Santa and his sleigh waving to the crowd. That reminds me, Santa Claus is coming to Southwest on Friday. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a bright, jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. We dressed up for Christmas with ribbons and bows. I was holiday festive from my head to my toes. I brought in five dollars and my Santa picture form, and I got a great photo to give to my mom. That's right, Spurs. Santa pictures are this Friday. Since Old St. Nick is coming to Southwest, we're having our third special dress-up day to make Santa feel at home. Christmas sweaters, Christmas socks, to show your holiday spirit. Let's make Santa feel as welcome here as he does at the North Pole. Speaking of ice and snow, was the Kona ice awesome last Friday? It was. It was like flavored snow. It was delicious. Savani in her slippers and I in my seat had been wishing for a frosty sweet treat. When out in the driveway arose such a noise, I went out for some Kona with the other girls and boys. Spurs, if you love cold ice, good news, they're coming back for another Frozen Friday. Bring your cold hard cash January 18th for some shaved ice. The truck will be here after lunch. Speaking of lunch, let's check in with Max to see what's for lunch in the cafeteria today. Howdy Southwest Spurs. My name is Maxwell. Today's date is Wednesday, December 19th, 2018. Today's hot lunch is holiday alfredo with a twist. Today's quick bite is turkey and cheese sandwich. Today's sides are broccoli, holiday veggie tray, fresh fruit, a cookie, and your choice of milk. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Spurs. I can't wait to see you at lunch wearing your awesome pajamas. Thanks, Max. That lunch sounds great. Now let's get back to the poem. The art room, it sparkled with colors so bright. Students drew it and they painted and got it just right. A contest was entered with artwork to show the energy Lakeland uses to glow. A winner was chosen from all of the Spurs. A prize was awarded. How cool, spread the word. We snuck up on him and found him in class and gave him his check. It sure was a blast. Congratulations, David Rosario. 
His artwork will be featured in the 2019 Re-Energized Lakeland Kids Calendar. And Lakeland Electric brought enough copies so that every kid in the entire school could have one. Thanks, Lakeland Electric. Lots of artistic things are happening around SWE lately. Not only are our, our artists entered the Lakeland Electric contest, but our singers, drummers, dancers, instrumental performers, and hosts put on an awesome holiday program that celebrated the holidays from all over the world. And then from the lunchroom, I heard a sweet song with singing and dancing and violin strung. Kids drumming and playing, recorders joined in. It sounded so wonderful. I went right in. Miss Gibson was leading the chorus and song, and third, fourth, and fifth grade was singing along. Their voices were clear. It was such a great show as they sang about holidays and about snow. <laughs> Surprises are part of the holiday fun, like helping a soldier come home to his son. He's missing his daddy, deployed overseas, protecting our country and keeping us free. The children were ending a unit on clothes and uniforms matching the jobs people chose. So the question for today is, does anyone in your family wear a uniform to work. Exactly. Daddy wears it oh, he at does? Work, what kind of work does he do? Where does he work that he would wear a uniform? Um, our Here's our visitor. When one special uniform walks through hey, the door, Hi, officer. Hi. and these kids aren't missing their dad anymore. Oh. You know, Savani, we've had a great time remixing this old Christmas poem today. Look at this, Grayson. This poem has been around a very long time. It was published almost 200 years ago. It is one of the most famous poem poems ever written by an American and has a huge impact on people's ideas of what Santa looks like and the things he does to make Christmas so magical. Spurs, I hope you read something awesome today. Have a great readathon. But before we go, we have one more verse. May your morning be focused with reading today. Work hard on your quizzes. Stay focused. Don't play. And you'll hear us exclaim as we fade out of sight. May your holidays always be merry and bright.